today's story is Otter B Trustworthy. Otter B leaped out of bed and put on his play clothes. Today, he and his friends were going to build a fort. The sun was shining and it was already getting warm. It was a perfect day for a project and he had some big ideas for how they could make their fort fantastic. After breakfast, Otter B ran to his dad's workshop. Daddy, can I use some of your tools? Asked Otter B. We're building a fort in Tabitha's backyard. Sure, said Daddy. Just put them back when you're finished. I promise. Otter B grabbed some wood scraps, tossed them in his wagon along with the tools, and ran next door. Franklin and Tabitha were already there. The three friends got to work. I wish we had a blanket for the inside of our fort, said Tabitha. And a flashlight so we could see at night, added Franklin. Just a minute, exclaimed Otter B. He dashed back to his house. He grabbed Mama's picnic blanket from the closet. Then he dug around in the kitchen drawers for a flashlight. Mama, can I use the blanket and the flashlight for our fort? Sure, said Mama. Just bring them back when you're finished. I promise. Otter B ran back to join his friends. They worked on their fort all day long. When it was dinner time, Tabitha's mama came outside. Time to finish up for today, she called. Franklin hopped out of the fort. See you guys tomorrow, he asked. Yeah, said Otter B and Tabitha. Tabitha waved goodbye as Otter B grabbed his wagon and zoomed home. The next morning was stormy. Thunder rumbled, lightning flashed, then all the lights went out. Otterby, please bring me the flashlight, called Mama. Otterby opened the drawer. There was no flashlight. And grabbed the picnic blanket too, added Mama. It's chilly in here. Otterby's heart sank. He remembered where everything was. It was outside getting wet. He didn't want to tell Mama. If he hurried, she'd never know. Otter B dashed next door to the fort. He grabbed the soggy blanket, flashlight, and tools. And just as Otter B turned around, a huge flash of lightning struck right in front of him. He screamed, slipped, and landed hard on his tail. Mama, he cried but the thunder was so loud that no one could hear him. Otter B pushed himself up and limped back home. Mama stood on the back porch calling his name. Otter B ran straight into his mama's arms. I'm sorry, mama, he sobbed. I promised to take care of everything and I forgot. And then I wanted to get them before you found out and there was lightning and then I fell on my tail. Mama wrapped a bandage around Otterby's tail and brushed mud and leaves from his wet fur. She pulled him onto her lap and dried his tears. I'm glad you wanted to keep your promises, Mama said, but I also trust you to remember our rules. I was worried when I couldn't find you. You need to ask before leaving the house. I know, Otterby sniffed. Mama hugged Otterby and kissed the top of his head. Let's change your clothes and then you could help me clean the blanket and dry off daddy's tools. Otterby snuggled into Mama's arms. It felt good to be safe and loved. You know what, Mama? You can trust me from now on. I'm going to be a great promise keeper. When you keep your promises, then others soon will see that they can put their trust in you. It's how you ought to be. The Bible says, my mouth speaks what is true. Proverbs 8, 7.